Hello JE Chams I welcome you to this particular session wherein I have actually come up with an organic chemistry problem a skull crusher problem for you guys let's actually dive into the problem and let's find out the solution for it now the question over here is a compound x that contains only carbon hydrogen and oxygen is unreactive towards sodium it does not add bromine it does not react with schiff's reagent on refluxing with an excess of hi x yields only one organic product that is y on hydrolysis y yield a new compound z which can be converted to y by reaction with red phosphorus and iodine the compound z on oxidation with kmno4 gives a carboxylic acid the equivalent weight of this particular acid is 60 What are the compounds X, Y, and Z? You need to write the chemical equations leading to the conversion of X to Y. So initially, we'll be going line by line and solving this particular problem. The question over here says that a compound X that contains carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Okay, there is a compound X which contains these three atoms. and it is unreactive towards sodium it's unreactive towards sodium that means there is no reaction that is going to take place also it does not add bromine that means with bromine also it's not going to show any reaction that means it's not going to give the bromine test okay we do bromine test for unsaturation which means since it's not reacting with bromine it does not contain any of the unsaturated thing of course it's not reacting with sodium so we can say that it this particular x compound is neither acid nor alcohol it's neither acid nor alcohol since it's not reacting with sodium basically is the thing clear yes of course now talking about that it it actually do not react with schiff's reagent schiff's reagent no reaction if it's not showing any reaction with schiff's reagent which means that it do not have in the presence of aldehyde schiff's reagent is basically used to check for the presence of aldehyde in ketones so we can say that this x compound it can it can't be an aldehyde or ketone okay it will neither be the aldehyde neither aldehyde neither aldehyde nor ketone okay so what we are left with not acid not alcohol not aldehyde not ketone and it is containing carbon hydrogen and oxygen so we are left with only ether it can be ether yes okay further what's the question is saying that on refluxing with an excess of hi this x yields only one organic product to y okay so what actually i want to say that this x if i just talk about x okay on reaction with hi it gives only one product only one product it gives only one product okay since it's giving only one product and we are actually having the higher stake of ethers okay that means the compound needs to be ether we do have the higher stake on the ether side fine so we can say if it is giving only one product and x when reacting with hi we are supposed to get only one product we can say that ether will be symmetrical okay it must be it must be symmetrical ether it must be symmetrical ether fine that's absolutely cool moreover why because x on reaction with hi it yields the product y so this is y basically now this y on hydrolysis y on hydrolysis gives us what it gives us the product z it gives us the product z and this z when reacts with iodine or you can say it's red phosphorus and iodine red phosphorus in the presence of iodine we are supposed to get y again now this z when reacts with kmno4 the compound z in oxidation with kmno4 it's a good oxidizing agent reaction with kmno4 is supposed to give us 
what is supposed to give us a carboxylic acid and the equivalent weight of this acid is 60 okay we are supposed to get carboxylic acid we are supposed to get carboxylic acid when z undergoes oxidation with kmno4 and the equivalent weight given to us is equals to 60 now this carboxylic acid do have cooh group okay if i just talk about the weight of this cooh group weight of cooh group it comes out to be it comes out to be 12 plus 16 into 2 plus 1 which is equals to 45 grams okay now the weight of cooh is 45 what are we then left with so it can be if i'm saying it's cooh carboxylic acid functional group and it is actually having the equivalent weight of 60 we do have the weight of cooh 45 we are then left with 12 plus we are being left with 15 grams and that particular unit can only be methyl unit because if i just talk about methyl unit its weight is actually 15 grams 45 plus 15 comes to be 60 basically so it can have only so it can have only ch3 unit attached to cooh group so this carboxylic acid for sure short sure, will be ch3 cooh basically now this z this carboxylic acid is basically the product of oxidation of z basically okay that's absolutely right or not yeah that's absolutely right so if we are getting ch3 cooh this is the oxidized product of z we can for sure say that that our z can be that our z can be z can be ch3 ch2 oh z can be ch3 ch2 oh can you just have a look because ch3 ch2 oh on oxidation with kmno4 is supposed to give us acetic acid whose equivalent weight is 60 i hope this particular point is clear to you yes ma'am that's absolutely clear so if z is ch3 ch2 oh then what will be y then alcohol on reaction with red phosphorus in the presence of iodine undergoes substitution reaction to form to form what to form ethyl iodide this is ethyl alcohol what we are supposed to form then it will be ethyl iodide ch3 ch2 i so alcohol when reacts with red phosphorus in the presence of iodine it undergoes substitution reaction and there will be the formation of ethyl iodide ethyl iodide so why is ethyl iodide z is ethanol okay then what is x then now if i just want to say only one particular thing that x can be a symmetrical ether symmetrical ether on reaction with hi gives only one product and that is ethyl iodide and if ethyl iodide is the one particular product we have obtained okay after the reaction of x with hi now rx will be an ether which will be ch3 ch2 o ch2 ch3 okay yes r x will be this this is our x gonna be fine clear so this diethyl ether on reaction with excess of hi is supposed to give us ethyl iodide two moles of ethyl iodide c2h5i along with the formation of water so our x is diethyl ether our y is ethyl iodide our z is ethanol ethanol undergoes oxidation with kmno4 to give us acetic acid this is how we have reached to our basic particular things to be known for this particular question the compound x y and z so what is x it's the diethyl ether what is y it's the ethyl iodide what is z it is ethanol basically and i have also written the chemical equations leading to the conversion of x to y hope you have understood this particular question in a very nicer manner thank you so much